Hello everyone, welcome back to what is probably my most exciting video of this year. I've been holding on to this secret a little while now and I can finally talk about it. Today, at time of recording this, I was invited to interview Ruth Mandley as part of BBC Sound's Access All podcast about the Doctor Who 60th anniversary. This was a really cool opportunity. I got to ask a ton of interesting questions and this is only going to be a tiny taste of what that podcast has. So I'll be leaving a full link to the podcast in the description below. Please, 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 if you have the time, go and check out the full podcast. It would mean a ton. I want to give a thank you to all the team at the Access All podcast. You were all lovely and fantastic. And I also just want to thank you guys, because without you guys, I wouldn't get the opportunity to do things like this. And to be able to do this was just such a joy. But with that, enjoy the clips. I mean, if you've got a character running around with two hearts... I think it's not a massive stretch to put a few disabled people in there. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's, yeah. Uh, I think I think just the more, and that's one of the wonderful things about Russell T Davis is he is such an ally and such a powerhouse for inclusion that I think he was always going to do that, and he was always going to do that right when he came back. I remember you working with him uh, for, with years and years as well. So uh, I, I was curious, like whether it, it obviously because I loved I loved years and years and I loved Rosie and years and years as well. Oh, um, thank you. And and in that show, you know, uh, Rosie is very like, very independent and very well written, and her disability is very much core to her character. And there's a lot of interesting conversations that take place within that show surrounding that. So yes. I'm wondering if, if Russell was you know part of the draw for you. To, to sort of be in Doctor Who, did he entice you more because it was Russell and you've worked with him before and you knew how great he was at sort of... 100%. Writing. I mean, if he'd asked me to come and make the tea for everyone on set, I would have been like, <laughs> yeah, just tell me what time. Um, one of the wonderful things about Russell is you feel like you're in incredibly good hands and you um, he gets it. And yeah. anything he doesn't get, we collaborate on and he asks. So does Russell make sure his sets are accessible, like all of oh, years yeah. and years? Oh, all, yeah. all of Doctor Who? Every bit of it? Every bit of it. I, I, I didn't have a single access problem on, on Doctor Who. Oh. Um, great. Bad Wolf were great. Very, mm -hmm. very, yeah. No, zero complaints from this end. Oh, that's good. No, because, I mean, really what we want to ask about is is the TARDIS. Do you, uh, what do you think of the new TARDIS? Is it is it cool? Oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I, I was very excited when I saw it, so. Cool. I have, I have to say, um, when I was younger uh, with the, the police box end of it, I always imagined as a kid, because, you know, with the box itself, there's kind of a lip going up to yeah. the doors, yeah. if that makes sense. I always thought, would the chair be able to get over it? Would I be able to flip it back far enough to get onto the to get into the box? Um, so... To see, obviously, um, to see that that you know might not be as much of an issue would be, you know, would be great. <laughs> uh, Look, I th I think you, I think you and um, other viewers will be very happy. That is all I will say. <laughs> we thought it'd be nice to to give Tom the last question. So, Tom, is there a question that you? A, burning question you wanted to ask Ruth that you could oh, about burning. Ruth Try or about Doctor Who and she <laughs> might not question. answer it at all but you know give it a crack yeah okay I'm gonna try and make it my, my best that you could answer uh that's the best that you could answer I think one thing I wanted to ask is there's kind of um a long-standing tradition kind of in uh like fiction of kind of this kind of stereotype of the, the like the disabled villain right and I wanted to ask you, how does it feel to kind of be the trailblazer and kind of in sort of inverting that stereotype in a sense, being a protagonist in like one of the biggest shows of the year, one of the biggest science fiction properties ever? Does that did that sort of mean a lot to you? Because I know for me, Huge. seeing seeing a protagonist up there with David Tennant, you know, it's it's so wonderful to see. Oh well. You're going to make me cry for a start. Um, oh, yes. sorry. You know what? It's, um, I feel such a massive responsibility to the disabled community. I always have. In every job that I do, I want to do the best job, not just for the production company and people I'm working with, but also because I know every time I'm on screen, it's representation. And I know so many disabled actors feel the same way. I think with the 
I mean, I grew up in the world of of disabled. When disabled character was on screen, they were usually evil. Yeah. Their disability was yeah. a mark of their um of their badness, um, <laughs> and they were obviously. I mean, as far as I, I don't think I ever saw an actual disabled actor playing a disabled character. Just a, a convention the um the other week, so I'm I'm hoping you know maybe you might start seeing people do cosplays of you. Which might that, be to be fair, if if that happened, I genuinely think I would I'm such an emotional person, I'm a nightmare. My other half's always shouting at me for crying at everything. I think I would break down in tears. <laughs> I think you'd have to pick me up off the floor. Before we wrap up as well, it wasn't your first time with Doctor Who, is it? I've got to flex my knowledge a bit now because you also do it. uh oh yeah, audio with Big Finish. Uh I did. Harrison, uh, companion of the sixth doctor. This is amazing. Um, how did that kind of compare between I suppose the audio, working on audio and working in television. I mean, I, I just feel really privileged that I, I've worked with more than one doctor. I mean, how exciting yeah. is that? <laughs>